and just kind of just see how everybody can just stack up to Leo. Maybe would it be the buzz? Would it be Mars? Would it be Ally? Maybe in yeah. the run back. So we'll take a look at the bracket right after. But for now, we're gonna go into our next match. It's gonna be the buzz. Team Liquid the Buzz versus PG Mars Battlefield. This time, the Buzz actually opening with Olimar rather than Rosalina. You think maybe he's realizing how much more mileage Olimar's given him? Maybe, yeah. Maybe he either saw that he lost the first two games with Rosalina. Maybe he thinks that Rosalina is not too hot during this top eight. Or maybe just Olimar just does strictly better against Sirizu. And again, a reminder, this is our last match, which is two out of three. After this, all matches will be three out of five from here on out. Okay, slow recovery, and Mars didn't really do too much, and actually whiffs the up B off the ground. Maybe Olimar's a little too short. It almost seemed like the Pikmin extended the very hitbox there. That, that seemed to last a very good while, but nonetheless, the force match takes the stock. And that's how you do it. You take one whiff and get your own hits in. And just like that, it, re it really is a sign of showing, like, as soon as you're down a stock versus Olimar, you can see players with a panic because they, they know how quickly, nerfs or not, Olimar can put percent on your opponent. It's scary though, both players were blocking in front of each other and the up smash just took it out so easily. Right. And this is a minute and 12 in and Mars is almost at one stock. <laughs> with parry the jab, jab, no read right there from the buzz. Happy to jab again too. Nice little neutral poke. Try to go for the jab lock, that's why he ran jabbed. Right, bit of a risky roll right there. Okay, you throw in the purple. That's the thing about the Pearl Pikmin. Obviously, it's a very, very strong flash attack, but it also is, you know, a, a, a Pikmin that makes you, once you get hit as a projectile, significantly distance goes far. Like, you can get hit, hit off stage and into an edge guard. And right there, the buzz is finding a forward air. A three stock classic lead, and you see when Olimar opened the match for him. Really optimal edge guard, too. He went for the purple, first the air dodge, and then went for the forward air. Pulls out a yellow, blue, and a white. Gonna try to land that white, get some more extra poison damage on. He does, but Mars quickly gets rid of it. Whips the grab, too. At this point, the ledge pressure is very important. Mars trying to get something going at the ledge. Goes for the force smash. I feel like that was unintended. Probably 4 till. Goes for the Zare. Catches the double jump here. I think the he's having trouble because all Mars' hurt box is so small. It's a yeah. small target, so he has to be twice as accurate when he throws out the aerials. Yeah, Zerusa does struggle against short frames like this. You have to angle down a lot of your moves, and it's just but very uncomfortable there. The trade-off is he dies early. I'm actually surprised he didn't die right there. Side B deep off the stage. Shields the second one. The up B will get a kill. Mars quickly brought this back. Yeah, he went for run at B, up B too. That is such a big commitment option, but he wasn't even afraid. All right, and there you go. 29 already for the buzz, using that whistle as iron armor or super armor to get down from the aerial soul. Goes for the Zer there to put the buzz on top of the platform. Getting a follow up there, baiting that out. He was crouching to dodge the aerial. Oh! That was almost it. That could have been a spike. I know, that spike comes out, but every player's been avoiding it. Another side B. The buzz has to be careful here. Mars bringing this back so hard now, he's actually winning. Oh, wait a minute. That was oh. risky. He tags it back onto the stage. His own up B. And Mars gets the first game. Incredible awareness. Look at the player camera right there. He is absolutely just breathing heavy there. He knew that was stressful. I think he was surprised that Spike didn't sit him down, but yeah. actually tech onto the stage. Yeah, he had very good inwards the eye to dodge that. Very impressive from Mars. Clutching that one game. And a reminder, this is a best of three. It is. We're not in best of five for losers quite yet. So the next game is going to decide who goes home. Oh man, my heart skips a beat every time I see a game one finish in a best of three. You're that much closer. So now is it the reverse? Do you stay Olimar? I mean, he's gonna stay, he has to. I mean, he had a, a three-stock lead against one at one point, and then Mars did the reverse to him. He's an explosive character. He just needs to find a way to keep those leads. Yeah, I feel like it doesn't really make a big difference to switch characters here. I mean, he might, but I- Oh, the gamble. He, he might just take the gamble. Here's he's the thinking. The buzz is thinking about it. I mean, he did lose the game by just a little bit with Olimar. Oh, I- Big I risk. Don't, I Very don't know. risky. I don't know about this one, Zero. I mean, you know, they're the good players on there, and I'm not, but this is risky. It is risky, but I think it's important to trust your instinct. As a player, as a professional player, you have to go on stage and trust your decision making. This might be just the big brain play that the buzz is looking for to take this game. I know, but an almost three stock. <laughs> he switched. But we'll see what happens. Luma already dead. Buzz keeping a slight 20% lead here as the game starts, whiffing the upside of shield. And of course, Rosalina is three times the size of Olimar. Way easier for Zeros with Samus to hit with these latent aerials. 
Nice and there in the down B. The buzz is stuck at the ledge. Rosalina at the ledge is one of her weakest parts, especially yes. the recovery as well. No hitbox on that up B really causes so much, and that just might be the kill right here. Oh. Amazed at the eye. Yeah, right to the diagonal, too. Yeah, going right into the corner. Okay, down B. Okay, good use of Luma right there to make sure he doesn't continue that follow up. Staying in neutral, throwing out a nair. That forward smash will not do it. Actually, the buzz with some of the best DI I've seen in this tournament thus far. Whiffing that up smash, both players whiffing. Mars takes the first stock. He actually sacrificed Luma there. He made Luma do an attack and then he immediately upbeat because he knew Luma will at least make Mars take a little bit of time to deal with that. So that was actually really impressive. Nothing wrong with taking your time if it nets you a kill. But right now, Mars taking the lead once again. The buzz on the ledge. What's the option? Side tilt, not quite going to do it. And now Luma is dead. Mars will get the chase here. Mars seems to be very comfortable in this matchup. I mean, he did play the buzz in this matchup in Smash 4. All the time. Okay, odd grab from Mars up there. Maybe going for a heavy read. A soul read, if you will. Luma seems to block the side B, which is interesting, but then, you know, obviously tanks damage for, for Luma. A bit dangerous right here. Oh, look at that. Luma sneaking by. Staying in shield. I think he was waiting for the up smash so he can go in. Mars going for the interesting jump in, cross up rather than roll in. All the bus right. trying to put some stage pressure right here. Yeah, slow up on the ledge into a B reverse blaster. I like it. Yeah, I just feel like the bus is a little too passive in corners here. Like every time he's supposed to be going for some type of ledge from here, he just doesn't. But then at least he gets the up smash on the kick. Yeah, he needed that desperately. Can't get any higher than 71. I also like the fact that he teched away on that texture scenario. Rolling in does get you down so much. People are starting to be more aware here. Oh my goodness, the down smash hit behind Mars, but he wasn't able to get as big of a punish as he wanted. Just as I said, <laughs> rolling in. <laughs> <laughs> Nair, okay, scooping it up. Oh, it's always unfortunate when he whiffs the big move with no punish. Mars, still a good percent lead here. He's trying to get in, but the buzz is cleverly using Luma. Letting him do the dirty work for him, and the down B will do it. The buzz on his tournament stock right here. That was so precise. Mars exactly waited for the window from the projectile, and then immediately went for a buffer kick there. Really interesting. I also noticed a little bit more use of uh, anti aerials from the buzz. He's using retreat, retreat in neutral right here, and also going for sure hop forward, both as a combo tool and also to stop Mars from jumping in. We're seeing him one more time at down smash covering both sides of the buzz. Now he's finding a chance to equal it out. He needs one more good smash read. This is crunch time right here. It the is. buzz on potentially his last duck. That does not quite get the kill here. Separate and Luma. We see if he can maybe catch and uh, Luma up smash. But it is very safe and neutral. I think he's opting to use that over and over again because he knows the next one will do the job. Luma again saving his. Oh, saving Rosa. Getting off the ledge is going to be quite difficult here. Has to sacrifice Luma to get out of corner here, but how is he going to get the kill? Dashing in neutral. These Zares are adding up so dangerously. Oh. Fort the Buzz. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how it's done. Liquid the Buzz. Fourth place, CEO 2019. And Mars making a long, winded run all the way through. And now has found himself finally in three out of five land. Zero suits follow ups are insane. We have both Zare into a back air for the 90 to 110%. Oh, <laughs> what is, he's the, the intro continues.